So Create London is an arts organisation and we exist to explore and better understand the civic role of artists in a city like London. We do it through research and through projects like this where we're looking for different ways that artists can inhabit civic spaces and develop a relationship with a particular community. We got involved with the Manor Park Library through firstly spotting the building as an empty, boarded up, beautiful building, getting in touch with the council and asking them the question, what were the plans? Newham really didn't know what to do with the building and it transpired that Bow Arts Trust, who are an organisation that provides space for artists in London, had also been looking at the building. And so we decided to collaborate with Bow Arts Trust and make a proposal to the council. The capital funding came from the Mayor's office. The GLA had a high street fund, which was a London-wide funding opportunity where projects in high streets, in busy streets like the Romford Road, could look at capital projects and restorations. And then we had to have a design competition and we invited five or six practices to make proposals for the interior of the building based on the brief of this having a publicness to it and not just turning it into a, a kind of rabbit warren of artist studios. And Apparata won that competition. When we first saw the building, the thing that we were struck by was this small building, but uh, quite a muscular building a building that had almost too much architecture sort of squeezed into a small space, but that gave, us it, gave it its charm. So we thought, how can we best maintain its character and use as a public building, because that's part of the intention. During the research, it, it became clear that in Edwardian buildings, which uh, this is one, across all the typologies, uh, glass and timber is uh, used as a primary spatial device, so be that in museums, pubs, li libraries especially. We wanted to have interventions uh, that were sensitive but not tentative. So where the new meets the old, we kind of make a kind of celebration of it where the pieces jump over. So a good way to respect the public and invite the public is through uh, finesse and beauty. We were the main contractors on the project. So we did everything from start to finish, leading the strip out. We found that being Contractors was the best way to respond to this situation where we had to be quick. So it was quite a fast timeline. We had to be able to respond to things being uncovered. For example, we, we only found the terrazzo after about two months because it was covered with so much screed. So there was a, a continuous response to new, new aspects of building and it wasn't a huge budget. So being contractors meant we could spend the money in the best possible way. We have our studio in the building, which we've been thinking about at the time that we might want to stay here. There's an extremely uh, lively community here. So you get the artists who, artists and designers who have spaces here, uh, carry out lots of events with the, with, with, uh, with, with the public, locals and from across London at the front space and you end up developing creative relationships with people effectively here, which has been very good. On Wednesdays we have Open Access, which is a community rise of printing press that is run by UNC, one of my kind. Um, they are the artists in residence at the moment at the Old Manor Park Library. We have a very diverse group of people that come. It could be like a local person who lives five minutes away, a student from Camberwell. But the main focus of, of the space is to act as a educational space where people who wouldn't necessarily have access to higher education can come and kind of learn and speak to each other. For the past two years I've been running Making Happy Places, which is the Architecture Summer School. I studied architecture, I did a part one and two, and I'm from an underrepresented group, and I thought that it was sort of my responsibility to nurture people from a similar background to me who may not be represented in architecture. So that's where the architecture summer school idea came from. It came from my direct personal experience. After they leave the school, we find them work experience, and then we try to like work on their portfolios and we try to help them with that and nurture them through the process, not just leave them to try and figure things out. So there's always an open door, like the summer school doesn't end 
We see it as creating networks for people who don't have any networks, basically. So we're learning a lot from this project. We're learning about how an invitation to a community is best presented, how things take time. I guess our end goal is to prove to Newham that this building can provide a space for people that live here that's useful, that's productive. And so maybe this project like this could carry on. So we're going to try and do that and we're going to try and negotiate the improvement of the exterior of the building and thinking about a much longer program of activity here.